Hi everybody, this is Avro friend, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS in the new Dragon Ball Z uh, Xenoverse 2. Uh, first of all, we will start with the resolution. For sure, here, if you lower your resolution, you will gain some FPS, but uh, you will decrease a lot the image quality of your game. Um, if you have a white, like a big white screen, uh, screen, not six, like more than 16 by 9, uh, you will have to replace the xgcore.dll file. Uh, I will show you a link that where you can download it. So download it, search for it in your uh, Dragon Ball Z folder, and replace it. Uh, if you replace it, now you will play. Uh, you can play white screen, uh, a white screen more than 16 by 9. Refresh rate, don't change anything here. Full screen uh, display mode. Um, it depends if you're streaming. If you're streaming, maybe you should use borderless because you have a lot to respond to your to answer to your uh, viewers. Uh, I don't have a 144 hertz screen, so I'm not sure if uh, it's supposed to unlock like your hertz here because technically you got the VSync at off, and you can say frame rate variable. If you're doing the single player, you can have more uh, maximum of 150 FPS, but if you're playing online, it's maximum 60. Okay, so technically, in a single player, if you have 150 FPS, you should see your uh, 144 hertz. But not sure about that one because you have the refresh rate too. Normally, you they giving you the refresh rate or they giving you the frame rate unlock. So uh, if you can uh, maybe uh, comment on my YouTube section to tell me if it's working with uh, with the 144 Hz screen. Maybe if I have one, it's unlo unlocking the the option over there. Don't know about this. So VSync off, frame rate variable. Uh, you just have FX AA. So put it at on. It's not too demanding to your GPU. For sure, if you have like an integrated GPU, put this one at off. Distance scaling. This one, you will see a big uh, chunk of FPS if you change it. Uh, low to ultra. Each bracket, you will gain 2 to 3 FPS. So it's very important here. You have like a, um, um, an old computer. Go to medium and test low. Uh, for sure, low, it's kind of, uh, it suck <laughs> because you will not see far in the, in the map. But uh, Test medium and you will see uh, your FPS. Texture quality, they didn't see a big improvement here. One FPS by bracket, so it's not like a huge improvement. Uh, so I recommend to put it at medium and if you have a good computer, for sure go to low. Let's go to advanced setting, HDR filter. Uh, I'm not sure if it's compatible, uh, if, even if you have like a, if you don't have an HDR screen because nobody has that on the PC. Uh, so technically it should maybe change a little bit uh, um, the dynamic uh, range of your uh, by the HDR function. Sorry, I was thinking about something else. So this one just tested. It didn't change my FPS on my computer. Shadow quality. This one is a big, 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 big improvement. This game is based on Unreal Engine 4. If you put it at off, you will gain 10 to 12 FPS depending on your computer. Uh, if you like shadow, you can go low, medium, or high. But for me, shadow is not a big feature on a game, and it will not be decrease too much the, the visual quality of the game so if you get, want to gain your fps it's here just put the shadow at off and you'll see a big chunk of fps i even saw on some computer 15 to 16 fps so this one is very important motion blur you can gain two f two, one to two fps not that bad but me i don't like the effect of the motion blur so i just put it at off glare level uh, this one i see a, a small improvement one to two fps by bracket but it's not a big thing over there Depth of field, uh, same thing. Uh, this one, um, I said, sorry, I said something here. Distance scaling, exactly. Uh, it's kind of the same thing, the depth of field. Um, this one, normally in game, you can gain 3 to 4 FPS by bracket, but I didn't see the big change here. The big change was more for distance scaling over there. So uh, you can gain 2 FPS by bracket. So depending on your, uh, your GPU, I, I saw a big improvement here on AMD video card, but not on NVIDIA, so it's uh, you to test it. Grass, off and on, I saw 2 FPS with this option, so not that many. Character limits, for sure, if you're doing single player stuff, uh, you will see a big improvement here. Uh, I see, saw 3 to 4 FPS by bracket, so test that one. Uh, it's pretty important because you have a bad CPU. Uh, this one will affect uh, your FPS a lot, uh, more on your CPU than the GPU. Massive particle, 
This one, if you have a mid-range computer or less, go to off. It's crazy. Uh, you can gain a lot of FPS with this. Uh, if you have like an integ uh, integrate like a GPU or a very very low hand GPU, you can gain six to eight FPS on this one. Very important. Light chef didn't see any improvement on that part. Uh, so just put it at let, let it at on. Uh, you will not see a big increase over there. So that's about it for the graphic option. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment my YouTube section and uh, just post their, your rig, GPU, CPU, maybe your RAM, and I will uh, tell you what to change and try to help you the best that I can. Thank you guys, bye bye.